Everybody in the building could witness that we were seeing something remarkable happen. And an historic night for the Suns, Devin Booker, no 70 points. Changed my life so much. Before 70, my career didn't even matter because <laughs> that's what everyone talks about now. Surpassing Tom Chambers. I can say it hurt. I mean, it's nice to have records. I was not going to allow him to get my record and not break Tom's record. It was not happening. Devin Booker's night kind of snuck up on us. Well, then we get to Tom Chambers and, and his big night, and things just seemed to keep on rolling. He just couldn't miss. He hadn't got 40. We were thinking, okay, he's, he's had 39 a couple of times. Okay, I want him to get 40 and take that next step. I don't want him to take 50, 60, and 70. I mean, who thought that would ever happen? 42 bye and bye. a half. Here we go. Bye bye. Unbelievable. So now he broke your thing. And I thought he'd be happy at 62. And the dude kept going. People know me now as Mr. 70. A lot of places I go, and it was crazy, you know, what that night did for my career. Uh, that kid is, is very, very special. I think he can consistently be a pretty unstoppable force in the league, and that's, that's how you really measure how good a guy is. He really believes no one can guard him in the NBA, and after 70, I think he proved a lot of people right. He's going to have times in his career where he just gets in his own, you know, and where he's just going to seem unstoppable. Devin is just mentally so far above a lot of the guys in the league, and that's what's going to make him a superstar. It's just amazing. I mean, nobody understands how hard it is to get 70 points in a game. That's sick. To score 70 points, that is something that I don't think a lot of players ever have done on any stage or any level of basketball. I mean, I've been in that zone before in multiple games, but not to extent to 70 points. It's not easy to do. It's, it's, it's damn near impossible. The greatest thing for me in that whole thing is that to see the team come together to kind of help him make history. You know, I think it was good for us to have that moment to sit back and enjoy it. What I saw that night with Devin Booker was a guy, and Suns fans, you're going to remember this, is a dude that is not satisfied. One of the best places to play in the entire world is Boston Garden. You know, he dropped 70 in the, in the garden. That's a dream come true for anybody. No one's ever done it. Just playing there with, with some of the best fans, the most knowledgeable people in the world. The crowd ended up cheering for me, which was unbelievable. This is incredible! The crowd is going crazy here in Boston, celebrating Devin Booker. When the Boston fans started cheering for Devin to keep scoring and keep going, it was like, well, let's let him stay in the game. Let's let him keep going, and this is a great moment for him. Let's see what he can do with it and you saw them in the crowd kind of cheering this thing on because they wanted to see something special. That's what makes it special in my mind. Records are meant to be broken, I'd say, and you know, hopefully one day somebody will come and, come and break mine. Well, I've still got the next two highest scoring ones, right? <laughs> I mean, a story franchise like the Phoenix Suns is unbelievable to know that my name, hopefully forever, will be remembered up there. He is going to put himself in contention of being considered a star, or a superstar, or great. Ward Chamber scored 100, Kobe scored 81, and then young, young Devin Booker scored 70. That's, that's incredible. See my name up there with those guys, you know, there's not words for it.